Hello everyone. Today we will talk about five sense of human. Eyes, mouth, ears, skin and nose. Now, we will hear the definition of sensation, process through which the senses pick up visual, auditory, and other sensory stimuli and transmit them to the brain. Next is the definition of perception, process by which sensory information is actively organized and interpreted by the brain. Sense of sound. Hearing is complex, requiring a series of actions and reactions to work. The process involves many parts of the ear working together to convert sound waves into information the brain understands and interprets as sounds. Sound waves enter the ear canal and travel toward our eardrums. And then, the sound waves cause the eardrum and bones in the middle ear to vibrate. Tiny hair cells inside cochlea, inner ear, convert these vibrations into electric impulses signals that are picked up by the auditory nerve. At birth, each normal ear has about 12,000 sensory cells, called hair cells, which sit on a membrane that vibrates in response to incoming sound. Each frequency of a complex sound maximally vibrates the membrane at one location. Because of this mechanism, we hear different pitches within the sound. A louder sound increases the amplitude of the vibration, so we hear loudness. Signals sent to the brain from auditory nerve are then interpreted as sounds. Sense of taste. Mouth helps you to speak or sing, allows you to smile or frown and produces saliva that helps to prevent infection. It also allows you to taste the good things that you like to eat. Anatomy of tongue. Its wart-like bumps is papillia. In papillia have four types filiform, foliate, circumvallate, fungiform. The taste buds located on the wall of papillia. In taste buds have taste hair, taste pore, song pori cell, nerve fiber. Structures and many of the tongue's papillae are composed of 60 to 100 receptor cells for taste. Buds send the details to the brain so that we know the flavor that we taste. Sense of touching. Our skin acts as the protective barrier between our internal body systems and the outside world. It's not only the body's largest sensory organ, it's the largest organ period. The skin gives our brain a wealth of information about environment, temperature, humidity, air pressure. This sense of touch lets us feel physical pain and necessity for avoiding injury, disease and danger. The ability to sense touch, this system is responsible for all the sensation we feel, cold, hot, rough, pain and more. Four main types of receptors is, mechanoreceptors, thermoreceptors, pain receptors and proprioceptors. Touch receptors are stimulated by mechanical, chemical, and thermal energy. Skin anatomy. Start with epidermis layer, dermis layer and subcutaneous layer. Our skin have a hair shaft, stratum corneum, melanocyte, sweat gland ochorin, sweat gland apocrine, adipose tissue, sebaceous gland erectropeli muscle and connective tissue. Sense of smell. The nose is the body's primary organ of smell and also functions as part of the body's respiratory system. Air comes into the body through the nose. As it passes over the specialized cells of the olfactory system, the brain recognizes and identifies smells. Hairs in the nose clean the air of foreign particles. As air moves through the nasal passages, it is warmed and humidified before it goes into the lungs. The most common medical condition related to the nose is nasal congestion. Anatomy of the nose. When we sense of smell, the part that we use is superior nasal concha, olfactory mucosa, middle nasal concha, inferior nasal concha, orthonasal smell, inhalation, oral cavity, tongue, retronasal smell, aromatic fine taste. Now we look about sense of sight. We perceive shapes, distance, movement, color, heat, and depth by our sense of sight. The organ for the sense of sight is the eye, about the shape of a ping pong ball. The eye alone cannot make sight possible. It works with the brain and on the outside, needs light to be present. The eye consists of three layers. The outer layer consists of the sclera and cornea. The middle layer consists of the choroid, ciliary body, and iris. The inner layer consists of the retina. In all, limbic system structures take information perceived from the five senses, as well as other sensory information to make sense of the world around us. Each of the senses are important, as it helps us to read the environment we live in and keep us our fellow humans safe, helps us to communicate and learn about the place we are in.